Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Your butt's way too high, you need to cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Heck yeah, I wanna press my... I wanna be like, I wanna be like, I wanna press my line, yeah. I wanna take that ride, yeah. So, we are actually in my city park. What up guys, and welcome back to another one. Yep, yep, we're doing something a little bit different today. This is where we're at. This is a heavy, 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 heavy used, look at this. This is how, yeah, this is how much people use it. There's always a ton of people at this little pond. This is a pond where a lot of the city folk come out here and they fish. It's just a lot of people out here. So this is the first time that nobody is here. I've, I've watched this thing and I'm like, man, I don't want to go magnet fish this thing with a bunch of people around. Because for one, I may not catch anything. And for two, it's just weird. People probably think, what is that idiot doing? So we are here and I have my magnet. Look at this. So I got my little bucket and I went and got a huge freaking magnet. Look how big this magnet is. Big old magnet. This sucker, I don't know, I think the pull weight on it's like 500 or more pounds. So I'm going to drag this thing around this dock. Since a lot of people use it all the time, maybe they just drop a lot of stuff in the dock. But this dock has a lot of big holes in it, a lot of wide gap boards that stuff can fall in. So. I'm gonna drag it around the stock and see if we can find anything. Pretty excited to be quite honest. I think I'm excited because it's just different. You never know what you're gonna find doing this stuff. So, I don't know, something new. Oh my, look at that olive green ducks hat. Oh yes. They are available on the website as well as these bad boys. These shirts right now are only 15 bucks. We got a little abundance of these, of these uh, olive shirts. It has the, sorry has the cup ducks on back. I hope you guys could see that. That was an awful, uh, awful demonstration of me showing you the back of the shirt, but you guys get the point. See what I mean? Just got huge, huge gaps in the boards. So who knows? There might be a lot of stuff around this dock. We about to find out. Here we go. It's gonna kind of hold the camera. I need a GoPro on, but oh well. So I'm just gonna bob it around, really. Bobbing her around, bobbing her around. I'm not really dragging it, I'm kind of picking it up, letting it drop. Yada, yada, yada. It's not very deep, it's only about four foot deep right here. Look at all the bubbles coming up. Alright, we did this little corner. Better pick it up, see if we got anything. Alright. And... What's that? Something old, rusty, and metal. Not much going on there. Let's try around. Where would be the best area? I'm just gonna go around the go around the whole darn thing. Hopefully, I can feel it. You know, like when I get something good, maybe feel it. But I'm thinking, you know, around this dock, right around it, something, you know, drops and goes clink, 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 and falls off the side. So that's my idea. done a lot of I don't feel anything clanking to it at all it's hoping to find some lures at least maybe a fishing pole nothing it works yeah oh yeah that magnet definitely works well look at that I got me a fishing line the magnet hooked some fishing line there's a fishing pole down there I bet that thing is really stuck some, ah, caught some line that's it's a plus, right? We didn't come to lose. I do not, I do not come to fail. We're gonna find something, something cool. Something cool, we're gonna find something cool, darn it. I'm determined, I've been wanting to try this forever. I plan on going to some lakes, maybe, you know, just, tr maybe around some docks, maybe some high traffic docks at lakes are the way to do this. Maybe that's where we'll, we'll find some good old treasure. But right here, I'm not having much luck. Give me something good. Cause there's nothing down there. Oh, I found something. Look at that. Freaking found something. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Look at that. <laughs> that thing looks brand new. That's a pole holder. I don't know why they were using it on the dock, because that's not going to stab into wood. It's usually stab these into the ground, and that's your pole holder. First find of the day, baby. <laughs> that means I'm right. There's stuff around this dock. Has to be something better though. I kind of felt it when it went click and it was on there. I kind of felt it. Oh well, there we got the old magnet back in there again. By the way, it's just kind of hard holding the camera and magnet fishing. So next time, I'm gonna have to bring the GoPro and put on the chest because this this is a little tough. Not gonna lie. We're rolling around to this corner now. See if we can catch you something good. Piece of that something metal on there. Oh, look at that. We got us a Bud Light bottle cap. We got some metal of some sort. We got a bunch of hooks. Wow, look, look at that. We got some chain. Well, no, sorry, it's some chain and a rusty hook. There we go. That's key. Look at that. There we go. Now we're finding some stuff. Look at that right there. Got us a treble hook. That's a little rusty, but you know what? We're getting it out of the water. Clean our magnet off here a little bit. All right. Well, caught some hooks, caught a pole holder. What else do you need? Man, there's something right here. Something, I can tell. It feels like a fishing pole. Come on, get it. Grab it. Darn it. There's something down there, right there. What do I find now? Look at that. Look at that. It's a little, uh, it's a little bell for your, into your pole. It's got mud all in it, but that's a little bell. There's something right there. I found a pile of stuff. A little piece of metal. And a Jack Daniels bottle cap. People like their beer out here. People love their beer out here. Golly, look at that magnet. That thing just has tons of metal fragments on it. But if you guys like these magnet fishing videos, drop a big old thumbs up right now. Ugh. And I'll go do a lot more of them. If you guys like these, seriously, drop a thumbs up. I'll do a lot more of these. But I think that's I think it's fun and it's interesting all at the same time. I don't know what that is, but big old hunk of metal. Look at this. Look at all the metal shavings down there. That is crazy. Well, here we go. We're gonna go down this side. Uh oh, we got a truck coming by. He's probably like, what is this guy doing? How you doing? How you doing? Good. Honestly, the only reliable thing that I'm finding are beer caps. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, really, come on, people. So this is what we got. We got the pair of pliers. We got this, is, which is the coolest thing. I can reuse that. And we got a bunch of bottle caps. This bell that was really cool that probably went on the end of someone's fishing pole. But that's our three cool things uh, for this spot here. And as you can see, there's someone over there, and then we have a guy over yonder. So, like I said, everybody's starting to show up, do their, do their routine morning fishing. Look at this. These geese. God, be quiet, man. Be quiet. Loud suckers. Old married couple having issues. That's what they are. But, as you guys know, I'm a waterfowl hunting channel. I hunt. I'm a shotgun guy, but doing something different like this, it, it's fun. It's something different and it's something that you guys have requested also. You guys want to see me do different stuff throughout the summer? Well, this is one of them. I'm looking to get in some hand fishing when the river goes down. So, until then, 
if you don't like these magnet fishing videos, go down in the comments and be like, Bobby, that was boring. Don't do it again. But if you like them, drop me a thumbs up. We are at our new spot and uh, I'll show you here in a minute. It's kind of funny. I, I've actually came here and done a few videos here. I've done some goose videos and I'm getting ready to do another goose calling video at the local park because we just have so many local groups of geese here. It's just crazy. The park just always has big old living families of honkers here. Just tons of them. Got some bands too. So be expecting another city park goose video coming up. We got something to learn from these honkers here. I know it. I got a good idea for a video and you guys will like it a lot. This is where we're at. We are literally at the city park. And my idea is that maybe over some of these bridges, people have dropped something while fishing, you know? Is that a bad idea? Good idea? Or am I just an idiot? I hope I don't run into any snakes. I hate snakes. You never know what people might just throw in a random city park pond, you know? Look at these bad boys coming in here. That's why I'm gonna come film the park. I have an idea. Well, I was really wishing that the old park was gonna produce more, especially at the pond, but this is about all we found. But the uh, needle nose pliers are pretty much toast, but I will be able to reuse the uh, fishing holder. If you guys like these magnet fishing videos, drop me a big thumbs up and I'll try to do some more. They're really interesting and you never know what you're gonna find. So go over to Ducks and check out these t-shirts. Right now they're only $15. I will link these t-shirts and the matching olive hat down in the description below. Go check them out. But subscribe if you haven't, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good one, y'all. Peace. But I'm not the same, man, and I could let you check the tag. Now I'm rocking name brand. I'm only chasing after bags. Now I got a game plan, and I'm out here with the 700 305s. Look alive, look alive.